Here we are with one of the great promoters, Frank Warren. We're two days, we're practically 48 hours away. Your man Joe Calzaghe taking on Bernard Hopkins. Uh, what's your quick thought as we uh, get, get closer to this fight? Sorry, I missed that. He banged me on the shoulder. <laughs> uh, what's your quick thought is we're two days away. You know, we've had a lot, a lot of talking back and forth. Uh, after uh, tomorrow, the talking basically stops. Uh, what's your thought? I can't, I can't wait for the fight. You know, it's the uh, two best in their respective divisions. Joe's coming up uh, to give seven pounds away to, to fight Bernard. Um, it's been a long time in the making, this fight. I think it's nearly six, seven years now. Saturday it finally arrives, and uh, and I think it's going to be a cracking fight. I think we're going to a really good good battle between these two guys. You've promoted many great fights. In fact, you, you brought Prince Ahmed to the States. Uh, how's this uh, kind of uh, different? Is there any similarities bringing the Prince think, over? Uh, yeah, obviously I think that uh, Bernard's a much better fighter at this stage of his career than uh, Kevin Kelly was. And I mean it with the greatest respect to Kevin. Don't be disrespected. Yeah, it's a tough fight for Joe. Uh, as I say, he's coming up a weight. Um, it was great when we brought Naz over years ago, Madison Square Gardens, 14,000 people there uh, just before Christmas. And that was that was, was an explosive fight. And if this, this is half as explosive that the fans are getting value for money. How does this fight compare to some of the fights, even over in England, that you, I mean, you promoted everyone? Mike Tyson, you promoted fights over there with him. You promoted the Benz and the Eubanks and those fights. How does this event compare to some of those events? You I mean you promote 45, 50,000 uh, people? I think it, it, I think it's a compelling fight because of the, the you know because one Joe Kawasaki needs to be seen by a live American audience. I mean it, it's nonsense that I stopped in traveling to the states mm -hmm. in the past. Just that, that, that's a fallacy. What happened is he would not travel because he had a phobia of flying. And he's overcome that. Um, but it's, you know, it's time's finally arrived. He's here, and I'm excited about him making his debut. He wants to make a statement. And you know, Bernard Hopkins. We know he's 43 years of age, but the guy's a, a, a phenomenal athlete. Uh, and I believe that um, you know Joe will beat him. And I believe that you know, but it'd be a great fight. And I think that will that will make a statement to the, the how, American public. How you brought something up? How do you feel when you, know, you read a lot? You know, Frank Warren's protecting his fighter. He's don't want to bring him. But when you read stuff like that, and then you come, you come, and you do this. You brought the Prince here. You brought other fighters here in the past. When you read stuff like that, how does that make you feel? Um, I mean, it's a, sometimes a bit like water off a duff, duck's back. Of course, I protect my fathers. You know, that's what I have to do. I mean, in America, in, in Britain, we can do we do something different that happens in America. You can be a manager and a promoter. I'll manage most of those guys, and of course, I'm looking to look after their best interest and pick them. You know, it's easy to make world title fights, but the art of the game is to win the world title mm -hmm. and be able to defend it. And that's when you, and you've got to you know pick the right moments. And I'm you know I'm not too bad in doing that. I've done it quite successfully over the years. But sometimes it, it does annoy you when people don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I mean, I had this, you know, there, there, there are some people I've worked with who, you know, the promoter's always the bad guy who don't want the fight, price themselves out of the fight, and it's the promoter who takes the blame. Other occasions, you know, it's, uh, it is down to me that I don't feel maybe they're right, for, right, you know, it's the right move to make. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, the fighters all, all you know, they all, all at the end of the day do wind up having the big fights that they're, they're destined to, destined to have. For this fight, you kind of actually gave in because very easily you could have done 75, 80,000 people for this yeah, fight. Yeah, I, I, I mean, with the greatest respect, this fight, if it was in the UK, we'd have got 60,000 people there standing on our head, no problem at all. You know, Joe Cow fights, 85,000 people have seen him live besides the TV audience. But, you know, we weren't going to get Bernard over to the UK, so we're, we're here. That's why we're here. Financially, it would have made more sense to do the fight in, in the UK. Um, that's it. That's, that, that's, a, that's a commercial decision, and it's, a, and it's something that Joe wants. You know, did, Joe you, wants did you wrestle with that decision a lot about, you know... No, not really, because at the end of the day, Joe wanted to come to the States. And, you know, and, I, and once, you know, once I knew he'd get on a plane... Uh, and he's been out a couple of times over the last year now. Mm -hmm. You know, let, 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 come on, let's go and do it. Now you're about to announce a, a great venture. You know, everyone's doing the internet these days. It looks like you're going to do something with Microsoft. Can you elaborate? This is a different type of a situation. This is a, this is, this enables you to actually watch a fight. Uh, you buy a piece of equipment, which is not very expensive. You plug it into TV uh, anywhere in the world, and you can download our, our library. You can watch a fight live depending on how we decide to broadcast it. And uh, and we've got a hundred million audience. And they reckon by next year Microsoft said we'll reach two hundred million. It's an exclusive deal, it's a big deal, and I'm proud, you know, that we're we're sort of the forefront of technology as far as uh, you know getting boxing to the public is concerned. You know, our website's a fantastic website as well. I mean, you know, we get we 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 get between eight hundred to a million hits a day. 
Uh, we'll get two and a half million, three million hits on Saturday. So we you know we know we're quite on the ball when it comes to that. So it's very easy even for the non-technological advanced yeah, uh, person. Yeah. Uh, well, do? you'll see the demonstration. You know, actually, I'm not a very technical guy. I'm, one of, I'm the old school. You know, the, the kids and all that have to show me how to work these things. But it's very simple, and uh, as I say, it's, it's a great technology, and it, and it enables us to, to to take our fights anywhere in the world. Wow, that's terrific. We'll be waiting for the press conference, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank